Kuturo survived the most laudious of tasks. A gauntlet of tummy aches and toothaches. After fasting as fast as feasible, he made his way to the graveyard to find the mare, and hopefully a key to the stolen moonstone pieces. Welcome back you guys, my name is Game Over Boy, and today's game we're going to be playing is called Puppeteer, and we are going to go into Scene 3, Act 5, and we are going to get that key back. We are definitely going to get that key back, so then we can go into that, uh, the haunted house, or haunted mansion, and go and get that those moon get those moon shards back from sergeant monkey and everything and i'm just gonna do that and everything so let's just go now back to kutaro's tail before his stint as a scientist general monkey was a brilliant mime who made everyone laugh but being laughed at always rubbed him the wrong way Determined to better himself, he studied hard and used his evil inventions to get in the Moonbear King's good graces. His piece of the Moonstone made him the smartest creature around. Smart enough to build Castle Grizzlestein, and smart enough to turn Halloween Veal's pumpkins into wickedly tempting snacks. Now, within his laboratory in the haunted house, he was combining Kutaro's seven moonstone shards with the one that General Dog already had to create an abomination unlike any the moon had ever seen. You know, moon folk used to flock to Halloween Veal just for the thrill of it. Of course, once the Moon Bear King rose to power and real terror took hold, tourism took a nasty, nasty plunge. The ghost town turned into a... well, you know... Huh? You see? This place isn't so scary. Now, how exactly are we supposed to get in? Oh, mister? Hey, mister? Could you unlock the gate for us? It... it's open... Here they were, in the scariest corner of the scariest part of the moon. Fortunately, not even the most horrible of deaths could deter brave Kutaro from his search for the mare. After you! Yes, Kutaro mustered all his courage and faced the dangers ahead. <clears throat> I said... Kutaro summoned all his courage because if he didn't find the mayor and get the key to the haunted mansion, the Moonstone Shards would be lost forever. Clearly, Kutaro needed a little persuasion. Oh, get your hiney in gear, you chicken! Dauntlessly, which means not in a scared way, Kutaro strode into the graveyard. As an owl's plaintive who someone had dug unpleasantly dank tunnels six feet under. We're not alone. We're not alone. Ghost! Cut it! Cut it! Hurry! I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Look! There's a path! Come on! There go the... We're going down there again? Yeah, we're going down here again. What's the deal with you not wanting to do this? Come on, let's do this. I know how to do this. Oh, come on. This is unfair. Come on. So, that's how you get it open. Okay, let's do this without getting hurt. Okay, run this way so then I can get my head back just because... Hey, seriously, that was my last head. So technically, if I don't get this one... What a tangled web you cleave. If I don't keep this one, then I am going to go back, so please keep this. Hey, get onto this. Ugh. What 
was that? Huh, no sweat. And then, in a cruel trick of hyperbole, Kutaro found his way blocked by a coffin of epic proportions. Yeesh! Let's leave the- Oops! Darn! Uh, uh, just that! Okay, a lot of that! Like, oh, why me? Brains! Uh, brains! Let me guess. He eats brains. You want a brain? Who wants it smush? Brains, oh, brains, brains, oh, brains, brains. Shut oh, up! I get brains. you want brains. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, I know what I'm supposed brains. to be doing. It's just not working. Brains, oh, brains. Brains. See that? From skelly to skelly. Brains. 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 Is that it? Are we done? They'd scoured the graveyard, but the mayor of Halloween be. <laughs> Countless hands burst from underfoot, ready to drag Kutaro straight into the d Who's that kid? It was one of the three tights Kutaro met back in the Black Castle's kitchen. I need a die just so then I can go and get the head back that I need. Because I know I have it, it's just that right now I don't have it just because I got hurt. And everything, and because of where I'm gonna end up and everything, I'm gonna have it and everything, so yeah. They'd scoured the graveyard, but the mayor of Halloweenville. <laughs> Countless hands burst from underfoot, ready to drag. Who's that kid? It was one of the three tights Kutaro met back in the Black Castle's kitchen. Okay, let's get something good this time. And now. Please don't give me death. No, 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 no. No, this is not good. This is really not good. Need my head. Really want my head. Okay, let's do this correctly. And yes, did it correctly. So now let's just go on and try not to die. Give me my head! Oh my god, seriously. I'm doing exactly what the game wants. For some reason, it's not doing it properly then. Okay, seriously, I need a high... Hey, stop! I hate when this happens where it does that. That's the only thing I don't like about this game is when it does stuff like that. But at least it's not everywhere, so at least it's passable in that sense of way. Oh, I have to do that again? Seriously? Ugh. This game makes n little to no sense sometimes. The game is fantastic and everything, but it's like, ugh, sometimes it just makes no sense at all. Oh, I can use this. We don't have time for the bonus stage. We have to find the mayor's head. At least it points it out that it is a bonus stage. That's cool. 
Ah, bungee jumping. This is the core idea behind many an amusement park attraction. After all... Seriously, not even 10 seconds, just like the other one that went on in the first act. Hey! Devil head, devil head. No devil head? Okay. Just moving on then. Check out the ruby ghost. Hey! It didn't work! The ghost transformed into a swirl of darkness and effortlessly dodged Kutaro's attacks. Then, suddenly, a ray of sunlight bounced off the earth and pierced through the dark clouds above. Of course! Light! Dark things hate the light! Think you can find some way to bounce it at him? Solar! <laughs> now aim the shield at the- Now we can take it down! All that's left is the church. The mayor must be trapped in there. The cloud of bats swelling overhead swooped down and transformed into a horrible weaver. Ah! It's the Grim Reaper! Is that an Akutaro? Stay! What are you waiting for? Do the scissor thing! What am I supposed to be doing? I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here, so I'm just winging it. I'm just winging it here. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, seriously, I... Oh my god, seriously, it's one of these types of things, uh, I hate this type of stuff. And I'm dead. Yeah, that was gonna happen eventually, so yeah. I knew I was gonna die, so at least I have 28 lives still, so... It's not like I'm needing everything, so... Do this correctly. Reaper Weaver swung his deadly scythe, but Kutaro wasn't ready to give up the ghost just yet. Katara, Bravely he fought back, using the night shield to douse the fiend in Earth's holy light. Okay, I can do this, it's just gonna be very hard to do. And thank you. Now this time, at least do this correctly. Do it, do it, do it. Yes. Do it. Thank you.
The Lord of Death used his wicked powers to block the light pouring in from Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fix it. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Ah, crud. Seriously, I do not want to go to the beginning of this fight. And I'm going to be if I don't do this correctly. Thank you. That sneaky son of a plague. Now there's only a little bit of light left. Do it. Yes. This is gonna be hard. And jump. Jump. Thank you. I can do this. It's not gonna be hard this time. Let's go do this. I please, please, please. I really do not want to start this fight over from the beginning, so I'm really trying to not do that. With a macabre monster vanquished and the graveyard conquered, Kutaro was ready to continue his search for the mayor and the team to entering the haunted house where General Monkey waited. Okay, that's now let's go to the area where we need to go. Thief? You are looking at the mayor of Halloweeville. Excuse me? Daddy! Mayor! Mayor! Daddy's missed you, Susan. Don't call me that. My name is Nebula. Silly girl. Daddy knows what he named you. Susan's a wonderful name. No, Susan is so plebeian. You can call this earthly vessel, but you can never name my soul. My name is Nebula. Nebula Oblongata, Wanderer of the Cosmos. <laughs> I think we need to look into cancelling your library card. Susan! Oh. Susan! Stop it! Kutaro's efforts had galvanized the ghosts of Halloweeville, and now they rose as one. Armed with torches, they closed in on the haunted house, determined to have the monkey's head. Kill the monkey! Smash his head! Drink his blood! Woohoo! We are on our way! Alright, come on everyone! Let's make that chimp pay! Charge! Huh? Are you with me? Charge! <sighs> Guess it's up to us now. Let's go, Kataro! And so our Kutaro was left to face Monkey's machinations alone. He's not alone. Some might say the mayor's eldritch form of state made the perfect the evil laboratory for General Monkey. The go. more he settled in, the more unsettling Let's the place got. To cut our way There's gotta be a way in. Kutaro's infectious dance had all the robots breaking down. <laughs> it was Halloween night fever. Um, right. A wrong ability, so... Yeah, so let's just bomb this bomb. Thank you. Let's do this. Monkey's correctly. sinister inventions patrolled every corner of the premises. The general trusted no one. And 
as in all of these creations himself. Have a good renovation. There's an owl head. That I did not know that there was. So this is new news to me. Forget breaking in. Let's just break the place. But that's the mayor's house. Was the mayor's house. <clears throat> and so our hero Kutaro set about slicing apart the evil General Monkey's laboratory like so much paper. Removing this blight on the town was a just act, motivated by justice just because. It's like a light switch. Falls of electricity! Don't touch! Trying not to. Another switch. I think you're safe while the gauge is green. The balls are multiplying. No freaking duh. And I'm resetting this area. No, I was gonna die anyway because I knew that I was gonna need like at least two heads for that area. So then, yeah. Yeah, 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 I get Some it, I get say it. the mayor's what? eldritch former estate made the perfect evil laboratory for General Monkey. The more he settled in, the more unsettling the place got. So, uh... The master is not seeing here, off you go. Let's use Calibris to cut our way around. There's gotta Ahead, be a way in. searchlights, and the crocodiles under the eaves had undergone some wicked brain surgery. What was a hero to do? Kutaro's infectious dance had all the robots breaking down. <laughs> it was Halloween night fever. Um, great. Monkey's sinister inventions patrolled every corner of the premises. The general trusted no one and operated all of these creations himself. I love a good renovation. Forget breaking in. Let's just break the place. But that's the mayor's house. Was the mayor's house. <clears throat> And so our hero, Kutaro, set about slicing apart the evil General Monkey's laboratory like so much paper. Removing this blight on the town was a just act, motivated by justice just begun. It's like a light switch. Balls of electricity! Don't touch! I wasn't planning on doing that. Another switch. I think you're safe while the gauge is green. The balls are multiplying. With the last of its supports gone, the fourth story came crashing down. They're after You okay there, Robo Chief? You don't look so hot. Kutaro sliced and diced the hapless building until it was hardly recognized. Walls tumbled and columns crumbled until finally the mayor's... <coughs> Correction. The evil monkey's abode had been demolished. Monkey's gotta be in here. I can feel it. Show yourself, monkey! Give us back those moonstone shards you stole! <laughs> but they are right in front of you, my dear! What? <laughs> you will help me test my new audacious experiment! General Robodog! Destroy Kutaro! Acknowledged! 
battery and melted. Is it General Dog? What happened to him? Go, go, Robo Dog. General Monkey has augmented all of my primary functions. Oh, forget your primary functions. Poor Crusher. Dog had been tamed, and oh, Kutaro was no. one moonstone shard the richer. But Monkey had slipped right through their fingers again. 
As for the consequences, well, how could Kutaro know? He was just a puppet, not the one pulling the strings. With a flash of Calibrus, Kutaro felled the frightful monster and freed the soul of every last child in the fiend's clutches. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound. Okay, let's go to the um, picture book area because there's probably one about like General Monkey and everything. Probably. Yeah, there's, there's one right here and everything. So, wait. Let's see. Yeah, I think this was it. So, yeah. So, let's go and check this book out and let's see what the... Let's see how this happened and everything. So, yeah. How Nebula's heart sank. Poor, poor Nebula, all alone. Poor little Nebula without a friend of her own. Why is it no one sees things my way? Am I the last idea in a desert of cliché? Outside my house I get stared at and mocked. In the streets I hear snickles and whiskerfaws as I walk. I suppose I'm above them. It's they who are odder. Even Daddy and me are like oil and water. But if Mommy was still here, she'd tell me the truth about my real father, who was far less uncouth. And the galaxy from which I came. Look at these weirdos on Halloween night. This gaggle of ghosts, this wobble of whites. They claim to be townsfolk, all dressed up as spooks, as if I'd be fooled by these monstrous kooks. They're not even living. They're worse than undead. They just wear the costumes to play with your head. They aren't human like me. But oh, what's the point? What does it matter? The whole world's convinced I'm as mad as a hatter. In which case, it's time I made them all see. Armed with the truth, I'll set myself free. Oh look, here's my daddy, their leader disguised. A ruse soon diffused in the blink of an eye. He won't call me Susan again. But what if the commotion drew some attention? Would the constable come? Would they try intervention? I checked if my neighbors had heard the hubbub. And there was old Frank sinking back in the tub. Oops, a little mishap with the nearest appliance thwarted this neighbor's impending defiance. He wasn't human anyway. Well, that was the end of the tricking and treating, for soon not a single heart was left beating. All that I wanted was to see eye to eye. Why is it no one will be on my side? Wait, what is this? Are these demons awake? Quick, where's a torch? Find some acid, a steak! They simply won't die. No, they won't leave me be. There's no bringing monsters to justice, it seems. Unless, yes, there is an escape. A good way to leave all my captors agape. I know what sets me apart. Gosh, can you believe her? Do you suppose it's a face? She thinks she's a human. Well, we all had those days. Oh, the misery! My heart! 
it just sank, and my neck grew to ten times its regular length. Will nobody save me from this Philistine throng? Oh, please, someone, take me back where I belong, to the galaxy from which I came. What? I, what? I, what? So, she thought she was human, but she's really not, and she was really a monster as well? What? I, 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 what? I have nothing to say. It leaves me as puzzled as the last episode and everything. I really have no, no idea what's happening, what happened. Does So, she thinks she's human, but she's really a monster. And all the other monsters know that she's a monster, but sh they won't allow her to know that she's not a human and let her play on that. I, what? I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> I have no idea. But anyway, I'm just going to go. So... If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give a boy, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all guys in the next video.